Yes, people, what you're saying, good evening. All right, so, <laughs> where do we start? All right, so, JDP, you know, trouble about, oh, cross muscles, guys, all good. He's made a video anyway. Uh, back in what the doc and um, Tank Tank have said, um, Andrew Goyne, another one with common sense, has also done a video. Um, Martin is having a panic attack. He's turning up on everyone's chat. Trying to deny it, trying to say, 42 people asked him to start this uh, GoFundMe. All right, let's just say they did more, all right? Let's give you the benefit of the doubt. You are starting it for your own financial gain, yeah? To buy you and your family, God knows what, you know, probably as Christmas is coming, uh, you know, you want us to pay for your presents, your wine, your chocolates, whatever, your decorations, all right? Um, so 42 people have asked you to sit up, but there will be no legal charges brought to Beggy. And you know it. You know it, mate. Nothing's going to happen. You two have been bickering on and off for months now. You was going to have a fight. Guess what? There's never been no fight. You've had Raz. You've made up. You was on his um, comment section the other day wishing him happy birthday. No hard feelings. Blah, blah, blah. Next day. You'd thought about it. Some people told you, not not your own decision. You was quick to jump to the GoFundMe, though. You, I didn't hear you say no, innit? Mate, you are full of it. You're a con man. And it makes me wonder why you left the good old UK in the first place. Maybe it wasn't nothing sinister with um, other things. But I'm getting, I'm getting the feeling that you left here because you are a scam artist. And that's plain as it. Let's just give... Beggy the benefit of the doubt for just once. Let, let me just give him the benefit of the doubt. And let's imagine him and you are really beefing. That doesn't change nothing. That changes absolutely nothing. You are still using that GoFundMe, which is, I don't know what it's on there. It's probably on about £700, more maybe, for your own financial gain, for your own greed to protect you and your family. Sorry, mate. Who are you kidding? Well, I'm here to protect the viewers that are falling for your baloney. People, please, please, don't give to Martin. Don't give to Beggy. Two peas in a pod. Cut from the same cloth. Um, don't give to me if you think, like, I'm trying to, you know, coerce you into doing things you don't want to do, all right? Don't, don't have to give your money to anybody, yeah? Sure, you've got your own family. Go buy your mother a cake or something with your few quid, all right? <laughs> or other things are available. The usual thing with Beggy, um, Chew's sitting next to him, you know. Isn't it true Martin said this? Huh? Tell him that Martin's been trying to... He had these charges. Huh? Look, you have to tell him because the net's closing in. People are finding out that me, you, Martin... And everyone else involved in this nasty little circle are all scammers. Oh, no, no, no. No, no sir. <laughs> uh, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. And I'm still, for every, say, 20 people that know they're pulling a fast one, there's still the odd, naive one person coming in my comments. Do you know what? I think Martin sincere. He started this... Um, Go fund me before anything like that was mentioned. He was already thinking about it. Bloody blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. He started this for his own gain. Not for any legal costs. He's not taking anyone to court. He's not going to get anyone charged, questioned, two years, whatever. Beggy's going to carry on sitting his, in his bed complaining. Martin's going to keep sitting there saying, oh yes, uh, we're, we're moving forward with the um, the legal stuff now, it's, it's getting close, it's getting close, just get, help me get a bit more, just need a bit more money, a bit more money. Like Andrew Goyne said, um, she, he asked him a question, he could not answer it, because the law in that country is very different, a basic question, like somehow that would have incriminated him, you know, it's, it's a load of bogus old tosh, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me, I can spot a con man at a hundred paces, or a miles, whatever. <laughs> but, like, I'm not here to tell you what to do, it's your money, it's your pit money. You know, uh, most of the viewers in this little circle 
are people that are struggling themselves, yeah, with energy bills, food. You know, most people go in food banks these days. Uh, they can't, you know, support their own families. And yet you've got these begs, these con men coming on YouTube with their begging bowls, you know, 5,000 miles away where things are a lot, lot cheaper. Yeah, especially when you're making the old YouTube... We got a successful businessman. Mark keeps saying, "Hey, oh, don't need the money. Don't need the don't need the money. Close the GoFundMe then. Close the GoFundMe then, greedy chops. All right, because that's all it is. You are you're greed, mate. Greed. You two have been working in cahoots, yeah, behind the scenes for a long time. At the at this present time, I could not say either way. If you two have had another little falling out, probably over money, yeah, probably over money because. Nothing's ever going to happen. You're not going to press any charges. Beggy's never going to have, a, have an imaginary fight in a ring with a with a ref, you know. But it's got to be bare knuckle. Can't can't be can't be no kicks. No, you know. It's just Martin. Do you have some sort of eating problem? Or do you have a disorder? Disorder? An, an eating disorder? Because your arms, my friend, are even skinnier than Beggy's. You know, you're you look like a lollipop sat there with that. Weird little haircut, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's like um, a certain German leader from the 1940s. <laughs> I mean, you look, you, you know, all right, you're knocking on a bit, but you look like you haven't eaten. Is that why you've got to go fund me? Be honest. Maybe maybe it's to buy yourself um, one of them cheap McDonald's meals that, um, Beggy keeps going on about that cost a couple of quid. Over here, mate, they're eight, nine quid. And yet, oh, oh, we must feel sorry for my... Martin's going to really do... Your days are numbered, Beggy. The walls are closing in on you, Beggy. The only walls that are closing in on Beggy is in that little tin room of his with him and Chew, yeah? Um, he's got his YouTube bunny. He, he done a live the other day. He was in off camera, on camera, off camera, on camera. We know what he was doing. He was giving his nostrils some exercise, yeah, and have, having a swig or two of the usual stuff. The demon, which he does, he's off. He's now, he's, um, he's eight days clean. He's eight days clean. You know what I mean? He doesn't want to get out his little didgeridoo anymore on camera. You know, because, it, you know, it was on a live, not a premiere. Wrong. It was on a premiere. But, now, nah, this is, this is my final video on this saga. Because if people... Don't learn now. I'm not going to keep rattling on about it. Like I said, it's, it's your money. You do what you want. But I'm trying to save anyone their hard-earned cash than give it to two con men who, who ain't doing nothing with it. There, there will be no case. There won't be no legal proceedings. It's all a smokescreen. It's all a lie just to get your cash. I can't say if they're 100% working together at this present time but they have been. And who knows, they will be again. They fall out, make up, fall out, make up. You kind of get what is going on. It's like him and Craig. Him and Craig's falling out. It's, it's all made up. Craig likes him. He likes Craig. They're, they're quite friendly behind the scenes. That is that is guaranteed. To this day, they are still friendly. How much Beggy gets um, for the, from all these super chats is anyone's guess. You know, maybe, maybe he's got an arcade machine hidden away as well. But um, please, just just think, just think, just think. You know, it, regardless of how he set this GoFundMe up, what he's claiming it's for, um, it's illegal anyway. You know, um, it, it, it's just shites on the real reason people have GoFundMe's. People that are seriously ill or seriously need the money for a, for a funeral or... For such good... For, and then you've got these two scam eyes. One who's claiming he's being... You're not being bullied anymore, mate. No, you haven't been for a long time. Most of your alleged bullies don't are off YouTube. Some of them don't even mention you anymore. Yeah? Even, even Craig, he's... You know, is he really bullying you? I don't know. He's making fun of you. So you could count that as bullying, but you're, you're, you're in cahoots with him. You're colluding with him, so... You can't really um, judge that one, can you, mate? But, um, Martin, you're an absolute scammer. I know you're having panic attacks. I know you're, 
sweating bucket loads now, thinking that people are wising up, and some people are, you know, people stop giving to this beg. Let him fund his own legal expenses. He brought him over there. Nothing's going to happen. Trust me. I will bet you my last penny there won't be no case. No, nothing. Beggy won't even be questioned. Nothing. All you'll hear from mine, things are processing. Things. Remember the incident of when Beggy first came out over there with some relative or something of uh, Martin's? Do you remember? Oh, he done something inappropriate. inappropriate yeah? He was going to take that. For, I'm just waiting for the lady to come back and then we're going to. It was all, all a load of hogwash. Nothing happened. Just a load of talk. All talk. Martin, you're another one who just likes to sit there babbling away for 45 minutes, telling your hard luck stories. Your fault. Your fault. You brought him into your home. Don't try and play the victim now, mate, and expect us to pay for your. Your shite, yeah, because you ain't doing nothing. You ain't you ain't bringing no legal proceedings against nobody, mate. You'll be lucky if you can tie up your own shoelaces. That's it. People, have a good evening. Yeah, that's my final video. If people can't see now for what it is, regardless if these two are working together, that they are both scamming you. They're both taking money. One ain't gonna start no legal proceedings. The other one ain't gonna start no legal proceedings either. Or um, for, to help for his bullying campaign, his plane tickets or what, whatever it is. That, you know, it, none of them are going to spend it on what they're going to spend it on. They're going to have a good time laughing at you's lot. Laugh, think, people, think. Don't trust Martin. Nobody knows him. He's a stranger. You know, he comes on with his hard luck stories. He made his bed. Now let him, let him lie in it. Because look. He ain't gonna manage to bring down Beggy, all right? That's just a load of waffle for that, for that. Think about it. Good night.